Uh, in the name of Almighty Allah, my name is Sahak from Sahak Graphic and we are in the second part of this tutorial. So in the last tutorial we created this cool uh, logo in Illustrator and this tutorial we will take this uh, we will take this logo uh, to the uh, Cinema 4D, a 3D program and we will make uh, the 3D version of this logo. Uh, so one thing I forgot in the last tutorial just to make here some space. Uh, so now I will create a uh, rectangle uh, just uh, right here above this from here we will make a rectangle just here uh, and we will just adjust it something like this we will create both shapes and we will, from here we will minus the bottom so we, we, we need gap here uh, so now uh, how we can move this uh, logo to uh, Cinema 4D? Uh, here I want to show you something. Uh, just we don't want to take this text now. There, we will just delete this text. We will take this logo, uh, and from here we will go uh, save us uh, to the save us, and we will save this logo uh, by the name of Green. okay the name i have given is green to the desktop and, ju and just you will save uh, now we have here a dialog box from this dialog box we have to choose uh, the illustrator 8 uh, this is uh, uh, necessary we have to choose this one otherwise it will not work now we will press ok and ok so now we have uh, saved this logo as a uh, illustrator 8 here and now you will go to this program uh, maybe this program is new for you but this is very easy I like uh, so much this program because it's uh, very easy to, uh, easy to use for the beginners uh, now just we will click here and we will open from the file we will open uh, and here we will choose our illustrator file that we have uh, saved by the name of uh, uh, green uh, so here it is we will, we, will, uh, we will grab this file and we will uh, press ok so here we should not uh, touch this one and uh, the scale always should be one and okay so now our logo is here we need some adjustment here uh, we have to take this logo uh, and bring it up to the center of our composition uh, for that one we have to touch this one and take it up like this and, and from here, uh, dear friends, from here we can control our uh, view. Uh, this is zoom tool. We can zoom. This is move tool. Uh, we can bring, um, we can move, and this is rota rotate tool. From here we can uh, rotate our logo. Yeah, I want to keep it like this. Uh, from here. Uh, I want to put this logo to the 3D, make it 3D. From here we can uh, we can bring this extrude nerves, and we will just grab this logo and put and make the child of this extrude nerves. Now you see our logo is uh, 3D. You can see our logo is now 3D. And now what we can do? We can go to extrude nerves uh, from here from object. Uh, we can uh, we can adjust the depth so now this is 20 centimeter I want to make it 50 and now you see here we got more more depth on our logo from here you can see even we can give more depth uh, 70 yeah I think 70 will be better uh, so now you can check our uh, our logo is in 3d space uh, so now from here we can uh, give them uh, from caps we will give them a cap uh, 
uh, fillet cap now you see here we got another edge a beautiful edge i will zoom it to see more clearly now you see and from here we can uh, we can make it more softer and this one we will down into two it will be more beautiful and also to the another side also cap and we will make it two this one we can make even five no problem okay so now if i if i press render here we will see our logo in very beautiful and clean version uh, okay so now what we will do we will create some materials uh, and apply on our logo uh, as you see here uh, as you see here uh, we have uh, it will take some time to render Uh, as you see here uh, our logo is uh, it has a reflection it has a reflection from the top and good uh, two color uh, gradient as I create it here you will just make this one control C copy and we will go to our main comb here you will just Control V paste it. Uh, so I will explain how I created this uh, material, uh, friends. For the color, I have uh, applied uh, this color from from the texture. I have created this gradients. Uh, this gradients we will click. See, this is uh, two color gradients as we created in the um, Illustrator. Two color gradients. Okay. Uh, for the reflection. Uh, I have okay for the reflection uh, I have chosen from here also gradient uh, and also from here I created uh, Fresnel this one uh, and I put the maximum strong to 68 and the brightness to 25 and we have some uh, specular this is the specular and that's it so now we will apply this uh, beautiful uh, material on our logo here and now you will see how it looks yeah beautiful it's uh, more beautiful now uh, so how can we create uh, the reflection for the reflection uh, I want to make a material, a sky, uh, to be reflected on this uh, logo. So we will go here. From here, I will take sky. Okay. Uh, for the sky, I will make a material. This. Sorry, I will delete this material. Okay, we will create sky from here we created sky and we will go to here uh, here we have some HDRI uh, material uh, this one I will we will apply this HDRI on our uh, floor on our sky and we will right click the sky and just go to uh, cinema 4d text compositing and we will just uh, uncheck uh, scene by camera scene by camera and now uh, you will just take a look yeah we got some reflection here good reflection and now we will go to our composition here 
from effect we need ambient inclusion uh, and also global elimination now we will check it will take little bit time to render but the result will be uh, very perfect it takes some time because ambient inclusion in google elimination it takes more time So now you see we have uh, cool reflection shadows okay we will change the angles little bit okay like this whatever angle you want to render from here you can change the uh, the angle From here you can uh, you can check your so this is your material options you will leave it as a UVW mapping like this okay now we will render okay so this is uh, beautiful if I if I put another HDRI I try another one from here for example if we try this one just apply to our sky here now you render Yes, this one is much better. Uh, now we got a very cool looking 3D version of our logo uh, with a good reflection, good shadow. So hope you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, hope you like, hope you learn something from this tutorial. Uh, we will render it in this angle. okay uh, so this is the final result of our 3d logo in cinema 4d hope you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for more uh, more great tutorials and don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and comment below in the comment box see you in the next tutorial bye